right hey guys welcome back i am beast here so i'm looking at um, ats version 1.4 um in beta at the moment of course and i know a lot of guys have done videos about you know the light effects and all this kind of thing to do with the game but one particular thing that i've found is that if you're running third party mods that no longer have support or if you've made your own mods you may get some kind of result that looks a bit like this okay and it won't be ideal and so we just want to have a quick look really at what we can do to um, quickly fix or mitigate this particular issue. All right, so it's really simple. So if we go into this particular mod here, which is my battle track mod, you'll have seen in my past videos, I made this probably a few weeks ago based on the 1980s NZ movie track. And as you can see now on 1.4, we have a few texture problems. So, you know, how do we get down to where to fix this if you're sort of new to modding even i'm new to modding so it's really quite simple so what we'll do right is we'll go into the track let's have a look what's going on so if we go into upgrade we take the battle track accessory off so we'll go here and we'll remove the battle track accessory so already we can see that somewhere in our mod the issue is in the track model not the accessory model because having removed the accessories the issue still remains so that's the first part is just a process of elimination without going into reading lines of code this and that and the other and everything else it's just establishing where possibly our breakdown in our mod might be so if we go inside the track view we have half the cab textures missing okay and then obviously this is the shadow of the chassis that's also broken so we can see it happens on all the cabs, and if we try different chassis, it's going to happen on all the chassis. So what does it tell us? It tells us that there's something in the uh, base file for the SCS track textures have changed. That obviously our original mod was based off the SCS uh, track textures from 1.39. Okay, and obviously those are no longer relevant in 1.40. So let's start with those textures. So anyway, let's get out of there. Okay, so there's our mod. So all we're going to do is, we know that it's the SCS textures that have changed. Now obviously that's changed because of the update to 1.40 and the textures of the SCS model. So we've gone into our uh, game folder, which we'll find in Steam installs apps common american track simulator we've come down to our dlc for that particular track and dlc for the kenworth w900 okay and to save a bit of time i've already done this because i fixed this um earlier on today so i've gone through and i've pulled that scs file for the dlc for the w900 and we've put it in here dropped it on top of the SCS extractor and that's come out with the expanded file okay so we're in our expanded file and we have our model we can start to compare these the files without actually going into blender and all the rest of it because we know it's going to be a texture that's the issue we want to look at the cabin so there's our duty file for the cabin and uh, sorry that fault the duty cabin and so you can see here it's it's pointing out the textures for that cabin and the definition files for this particular uh, cabin and chassis mod that we've made so there's my six by six long chassis so we know that these are the textures uh, relating to this particular mod that are causing problems with the cabin itself okay so all we have to do is go into our SCS vehicle and do the same thing and just check that our def files for the truck and that particular cabin are matching some of them will have different names some of them will be the same some of them are the model that's updated obviously and the textures belong to that model others will be um, TABJ files for the texture and, and independent textures so we don't really know what they all are until we go through one by one but like I say uh, without being an expert at modding and, and 
all this kind of thing. This is how you'd methodically go through it, and this is how I fixed it, which you'll see in a moment. So comparing the cab, there's the duty cab, and we go through, and so all we're going to do is we're going to go into our SCS file and take all of these models and textures and bring them across to our mod file. It's because obviously with the light model changes, the SCS have have done and are still continuing to do for the 1.4 update um, all textures have been changed is my understanding and actually when we have a look at our original file I also found that there was probably about a 5 meg difference between the previous 1.39 DLC file for the W900 and the current 1.40 file okay so, and that 5 megs is obviously going to be a lot of textures and things that have crashed our mod, but it's not a biggie. So anyway, uh, we go into one by one and transfer these files over uh, to our mod folder. And so we just look at that. If you're not sure where to go, uh, the def folder tells you where to go. So the model is the Kenworth W900 truck, vehicle truck Kenworth. And so it's really easy. We just go straight through and trace through this. File, track, Kenworth. We can actually pull the file side by side so we've got the right directories. And just track each of those files down that we need. So we need the track PMD and PMC, track PMD and PMC here. So we take those and we bring those across to, to our directory in our mod, which is going to be. Vehicle, track, can it W900, and there are our original files here. So we're just going to take these files across, and if we have a look actually, we've got a 10 meg file here, and a 6 meg file in the original, so there's a difference. There's obviously differences happening in, in the textures and shaders and whatever else is going on. So we can just copy these files out and put them across. And in doing so, we know that we're going to solve straight away um, the model problems okay so we've got the track model we need to go to wiper model vehicle track Kenworth wipers right so we're in vehicle track Kenworth so we're looking for wipers PMD and PMA so if you're not sure just take them all across and then on our original file for our mod we see the files here and again, uh, it doesn't look like there's any difference here. But rather than just um, fumbling through, it's easier just to take everything across now that we need. And even if the textures, everything looks the same in this file, and it may be. But rather than guessing, just take everything across because it's a couple of extra clicks to do it, and you're not having to go back and trace through what did you do wrong or what did you miss out later on. Um, you can see the main difference here. If you, you probably saw this in my previous video was um the conflicts for the day cab the duty cab uh, i took those conflicts away in my particular mod over here so there are no conflicts which meant that now i could have the day cab on any chassis which is what i wanted um a couple of things that you can see that have changed about the obviously the new scs updates if you haven't heard already or if you haven't seen other videos from other guys out there on the 1.4 update you can see the addition of uh, some new chassis in here, 8x4 and 8x6, 6x2 of course as well. So this is automatically changing uh, that file size and possibly textures for shadows and things. Okay, so we've done that, we've done the model, and then we're looking at these devs here for the defaults for the track for this cab. So we can go and track those down as well. It's a methodical approach to get this problem solved yourself without needing to go and email and discord and message modders that are already getting flooded with a variety of their own issues and questions requests about their mods crashing and all this kind of thing so we can do this stuff ourselves so we're going to now look at the at the defaults for the chassis so we're going into the chassis and we need to look at what chassis we related this to in our mod so if we go back to our uh, definitions and we look at chassis 
was a six plus six seven chassis that's our chassis mod and when we wrote this up we just need to make sure that we're going back to the right chassis which is chassis long one it's the variant so we go here to our original CS we get a chassis long one which was the variant and it was a six plus four and now we can start to compare the files to make sure again that we had the right um, right file chassis long one chassis long one and we start looking again at um, our shadow our shadow pmd okay so that tells us shadow pmd needs to be changed so again we just track it uh kenworth ui shadow so going back to the ecs file again we need to go down here and look at the ui shadow which is four over and so you just really so i think the shadow that's going to take care of the chassis shadow so we can just double check all these other bits and pieces as well make sure the shapes shape names have been changed with shape names have been changed the chances are the textures themselves haven't changed but we can check those if we need to so we go to the definition files and check all these things if we want so we've got definitions for uh accessories mud flaps filters and trailer cables as well i seriously doubt those are all going to have changed but you can have a quick look okay so we've got mud flaps and again all this is just really to make sure that you don't go past anything in the shape was zero one our shape was zero one so we know that we're okay we're not no mapping has changed so and now we've got, we've got to look for mud flaps 01 okay and same thing again truck upgrade course mud flaps, mud flaps 01 and what file are we looking for is just the pmd so we can check that so it's that there files do it the 01 put them all across because they all point to each other so same thing again on this side the truck upgrade look for mud flaps can with and having copied these files paste them across it doesn't look like anything's changed again because these sizes um, file sizes look all exactly the same who knows what's happening inside the file but it stands to reason that slight changes will make slight changes to the file size so but we're just covering our bases so there's nothing else there we need to look for so mud flaps is done and then we've got filters and trailer cables so we we'll do the same thing again okay, upgrade filters 100 double checking of course that what filter we had it pointing to shape 01 scs is still shape 01 so we know that it's probably not going to need to be changed so we can just take all of this again uh, are we interior or just shape zero one? Oops. So let's go to Accessory filters. Shapes are one. Open that file up. And it's just the filters 01 PMD, but also the filters 01 interior PMD. Okay. So we can just quickly navigate back to that folder. So we need the 01 PMD and zero on interior PMD. So we take these here, copy them across to the appropriate folder again. Actually when we look here, we don't have this in our mod, which is interesting. So hang on, let me just check that we're actually in the we are in the vehicle folder. Wow, okay. Vehicle track upgrade. So this is easy. We don't actually have that folder in our mod. Again, covering our bases, just take it across. And that's done. And we've got wipers. We've done all of that. And we've come across here. We've got filters. So we've done filters. And check in. So then that's everything done that we could replace in terms of the model files or 
texture files for the cab. Then we just go to the chassis, back to our definition file for the truck again, and just checking that we have everything for chassis. I think we pretty much covered chassis with the shadows, and we had so that's all done. And so we can also do the same thing here modern interior, depends which interior you had. And again, take the interior model uh, files and put them across as well. Interior, we're looking for the model PMD. There it is, there. Take those three, bring them across to our new folder, well, to our mod folder. Done. And just getting down quickly and making sure we have anything else. We've got stock PMD as well. And that's just for the cab, so. Stock PMD. There's our stock. And so you can see all we're doing is swapping files. So it's that that simple we're just swapping and updating files to the newer version to make sure we haven't missed any new textures or to make sure that we're including uh, the new textures that we need so we're missing this whole folder you could track upgrades so we can just take that whole folder And default steering wheel definitions of the steering wheel. And again, it's a bit long with it, guys, but if you just want to make sure that you haven't missed anything, I recommend going through and doing it. Or the other way you could do it is if you're pretty sure you don't need it, just try um just try the mod with each particular change. But you know, by the time you load in and out of the game, it's a few extra clicks to actually um have done it yourself. So we need the upgrade steering can with default model there. So we need that default file there. So we've got vehicle truck upgrade, we don't have steering wheel for the little so so that's um okay. You know, I pretty much think that's all we need from that. And if we go back and have a look, that's done now. So the steering wheel's done, stock's done, all of that's done. And if we just quickly check anything else we may have missed, that points to each other, everything points to each other. We don't need to worry about paint job. We don't need to worry about accessory. So now we've changed our cabin textures, updated those. And we've updated our chassis textures. So that should cover everything that we were missing before. And all those problems have been solved. Because it was only the two textures really. Or the two um, models that needed updating. And that was mainly because we'd used the SCS models. And they updated their stuff. So if you're using a third party mod. That had its own modeling. Then. Chances are those textures may not look the same under the new lighting engine and settings and updates that SS has done for 1.4 but you will find that they still work uh, fine it might be a little bit darker or not as light or the shadow might not be quite right but it's going to be fine whereas because I've used the SS references you could see that it all just went uh, crazy textures went found and so the whole thing was a mess so it just depends uh, what type of mod you're running what kind of support you have this is more if you've made your own quick mods referencing SCS yeah, models and that's all changed now under 1.40 well, if you haven't had the update or you haven't run the beta you'll find that those have all uh, changed so there we are now we have our um, battle truck mod we can go into the mod and if we take off our accessories 
take off the battle track accessory and again now we can see that that problem has all been solved so there we have the model there we have our chassis uh, as we had it before all the shadows and bits are correct and you can see the shadow sits here for the chassis and that's exactly where the texture not found item was and then all across the cab textures were missing or the updated textures weren't found so we've solved those problems now we can take our white ball bar off and there we have it so it's all working again and through all cabs whatever and all colors whatever colors you're going to choose it all works fine and so i'm just going to dress the truck back up how i like it bring the battle truck back balance back on even though it's annoying to drive with whoops wrong one and there we have it guys so uh, there we have it a quick fix for if you've got your own mods or scs based mods or any time that you have an issue with your 1.40 mods breaking whereas a texture is not found and actually scs is clever enough to put in the game texture not found uh, rather than panicking just have a look at where that texture might be what it relates to and then go into your mod file, mod folder, and pull down the SCS folder, and check definitions, and then just transfer across any of the uh, relevant textures uh, and model files that you might need to update your particular mod. And as you've seen right here, in fact, we are going to get back in and drive the battle truck. So I'm just going to drive that because it is cool. One thing was funny enough, I found um, because my Battle Track mod works off an ECS trailer as well, and it was interestingly the trailer textures didn't change. There's the Battle Track, she's purring, she's good to go, everything's working. Park brake on, have a quick look at the beast, there she is, look at that, absolutely awesome. Uh, with the trailer for this particular track, what I did find was that, funnily enough, I didn't have any of those problems that we've just been through and corrected with the truck model. That never seemed to happen with the ECS trailer models. I guess they just, there wasn't much to change, so they didn't bother changing shadow textures or anything. I found that my uh, trailer mod here, which is also an accessory, it's just built around the aluminium flatbed for this particular truck. Um, interestingly enough, there were no problems with the particular the mod textures anywhere. The roller door, the paint for texture, the tailgate, none of it. Um, the chassis, the shadow, nothing changed at all, which was kind of cool. So if we go back across to the flatbed and we see our normal flatbed without the battle track accessory, obviously none of this changed at all for the new SCS update, which was one less problem to worry about. Because when we put it on the battle truck, look at that, she's the beast. We have the battle truck beast. Love it. Still a bit of work to do on my battle truck. I'm very happy with the way it's looking and driving and sounding and with the 6x6 chassis. And very good to know, guys, that for some mods, you're not going to have too much um, issues changing textures if you need to or updating them to 1.4. That's so far. Who knows what else is going to change over the next couple of days, weeks, or however long before they actually publicly release the update. But at this stage, anyway, while we're in beta, while we're running tests on mods, uh, simple texture fixes can be applied and hopefully this helps you fix your particular mods if you're testing in beta at the moment or if you're just going to wait until the update is released publicly come across any issues don't panic guys just take it step by step take some time to go through and read your dev files follow up the directories to where those textures are check the assess textures against your mod textures and swap them over if needed and that way you don't have to be bothered going through and doing this elaborate kind of remodel that isn't even necessary when it's only a few textures missing and SCS is the game is good enough to be able to tell you what textures are missing as you saw at the beginning of this video so anyway guys I hope that helps you fix any dilemmas you might come across and sorry for the slightly long-winded approach but hey let's take some time and do it and get it right because 40 minutes of going through folders um, bit by bit and getting it fixed methodically is still better than spending hours going around in circles trying to fix your mod 
especially if you're new to modding it can be hard to find basic tutorials that help you fix or pinpoint that one problem to be a quick fix uh, most modders out there have been doing it for a long time and they're very good at it and they're very complicated and so are their explanations but i hope this simple one helps you feel free to check out any other videos um, as i bring out more of my mods and we start to see what else gets broken in 1.40 thanks for watching guys don't forget to check out my um, description below if you need any custom skins libraries mods made and also check out my other videos of some interesting things that we're doing with our Knight Rider mods and VTC and we'll catch you back for the next video real soon bye bye